What's up guys, Marvelous Mark here and I'm here to bring you my review for the finale of The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 6, TS-19. Uh, this episode was really, really good. I thought it was it was, it was a, most, a more slower episode, but we got a lot of character development from each of the characters. Uh, Shane, Daryl, Rick, Lori, uh, Andrea. There was just a few characters in there. And we had a, 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 also another character that... Uh, at the end, but let me just go through it a little bit. I'm just want to gonna skim through it, get my thoughts on it. This episode, it was it was very different. It was a change of pace and it was a change of uh, setting for the season because we were always in the uh, we were always outside. We didn't know what was we. They were just there. We didn't know there was another place that that had food, that had light, that had things like that, you know. And when we get there, it's just like amazing, you know. Showers are running. Uh, everyone's taking showers. Everyone's having a good time. Uh, everyone's drinking. Everyone's eating. Everyone, everyone is just basically having a good time on uh, being there at the CDC. And we meet Jenner, which is basically a scientist. Uh, his also we too we find out uh, he was experimenting on his wife to see if he could find out like what how how. Walker, how humans turn into the walkers, but he still really never found that out. And it's, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys seen Fear um, the last couple weeks, but uh, I think on the season premiere they kind of did that with the scientist kind of thing. But uh, on here it was, it was. I mean, this is the first season of Walking Dead, so they did this, and we got to see a little bit of it. We got to see like the bullet going through the brain and seeing what happens and like how it shuts down, how the body reanimates. So we had to see a lot of good stuff with that. Uh, we also got to see some stuff with Lori and Shane. Shane, he's drunk too, but Shane, he still can't get over the fact that Rick is back and that basically Rick has Lori now and he doesn't seem to understand that. So he's still trying to go after Lori. So he's basically trying to mess with her and he and she ends up leaving a scratch on his neck. And, uh, he he just you know he he loves her and he loves Carl he loves Rick but he loves them more because he spent his time protecting them he's been with her in different ways and we'll see later what's gonna happen between them two down the line you know okay uh, Andrea she's just there she's grieving she's uh, mourning over uh, Amy she still has that in her head and Jenner is. This, this episode basically is just uh, everyone getting back on their feet, but then at the end, it's like they're taken down really quick because at the end, um, yeah, like I I'm said I'm skimming through it, but uh, at the end, everyone's downstairs, and uh, Jenner's like, you're not going to leave. You can't leave. What is the point of leaving and everything like that? So he shuts down all the door. There's one door. He shuts down the door, and then everyone is freaking out. He's telling them, why would you want to go back to a world like that? Why would you want to go and put yourself, put your children at those kind of risks? There's no point. You might as well just stay here and die with me because the CDC is uh, is going to blow up. But it's not. you won't feel the pain of the of the blast. You'll just be gone. Like You'll be, you'll be gone before you could even feel anything, you know? And uh, Rick, of course, he doesn't want to be in there. He wants to hurry up and get out. He's trying to convince him. Shane is trying to convince him in a very like uh, aggressive way. But there were some people who wanted to stay, which was Jackie, Andrea. Oh, uh, and I believe that's it. Yeah, Jackie and Andrea wanted to stay. So Jenner allowed them to stay. And of course, Jenner, knowing that these people weren't going to stop, they opened the door. He opened the door for Rick and Cole and everyone and Andrea and Jackie stayed. But Dell found out that they stayed and he went back there. He sat with Andrea. He told her, I'm going to sit with you. I mean, you're the only thing I have left to care about in this world, basically. And Andrea, she, of course, she doesn't want Dell to die for her. So she gets up and then they end up going out. And of course, two dog, I think uh, Jackie's his sister, of course. He hugs his sister and. She ends up staying there. She ends up staying there with Jenner, and Jenner uh, is basically that's it. And Rick and Cole they end up leaving, but uh, they have a hard time getting out. I don't know if you guys remember the grenade that uh, Rick got in season. I mean, uh, in episode one, uh, days gone by. No, no, no. Uh, 
que... Yeah, season one, days gone by, right at the end. He got the grenade from the walker inside the tank. So he used the grenade to blow up the glass to get everyone out because the... It was basically reinforced glass or something like that. Like bullets wouldn't penetrate it. So they had they used a grenade and it blew up and that's how they got out. And everyone there, they ended up leaving. The CDC ended up exploding. We lost a character. We lost Jackie. We lost uh Jenner. And before uh Jenner before Rick and everyone left, Jenner pulled Rick to the side and told him something in his ear very silently. I don't want to say what it is right now because I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of you know what it is, but I'm going to save it because people for on this channel that are watching this that are new to The Walking Dead, I want you to find out when I say it so I don't want to mess up your experience with it. Okay? So, yeah, guys, that is my re uh, my review for The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 6, TS19 Finale. I'm going to leave an icon down here so you can click. Make sure you hit that like button and come back and check back for more.